Alrighty, gang, we're back. So, tonight, guys, we're going to be showing off these wonderful Pokemon Think Chips. Now, you might not know, and I honestly only know that the Think Chip technology came out before 2005. That's all I really know. Let's see if we can quickly... So, this is kind of a vintage time thing at the same time, guys. But let's see if we can find it out. Uh, wowza, 1995, 98, 2000. Let's go with the 2000 since that's the latest date. So we can definitely presume that these things are as far back as 2000. And just show everybody um, what this is. This is going to be important because this, guys, and along with the two in the back, guys, and that are all going to my friend Tyler. So we're showing them off. To say a fond farewell to something that I did have, uh, at least for the moment I have, but in the next couple hours I will not have. And like I said, guys, this is Think Chip technology, and I'm going to show you what the thing with Think Chip technology is, and I'm going to try to keep very quiet, and I'm going to hope the background noise isn't too bad, and I'm going to hope you guys can hear this as we go over uh, basically what this is. Now, here is... The same Pokedex, guys, just to show everybody, this is the same exact Pokedex that you just saw a second ago. Ash is talking Pokedex, guys, with the Think Chip technology. This is exactly the same thing that you just saw in a box. I happened to be able to get one cheap in a box. I barely remember how it worked, but I think it was back when the, some of the toy stores were going out of business. And I said, hey, um, good deal. I'll buy another one. Keep it in the box. And you know what, guys? It's making me over 100 bucks. So I could probably get a lot more for it. I know a lot of you out there are probably thinking right now, geez, Dark, why aren't you selling it for more than that? And it's like, well, because sometimes, guys, sacrificing things to friends and making good deals to friends and people that care about the stuff as something that they have passion for that you also have passion for makes it worthwhile in comparison to just making a lot of bank for it. So that's where it really comes down to is uh, if you guys remember from months back, uh, possibly could have been a year back now, we actually did this with um, the Pokemon Game Boy Advance that was the Pokemon edition um, from the, uh, what is it, uh, Pokemon Center in New York that I just happened to have one, I think I special ordered through a GameStop a long time ago. Um, so the thing is, is that I sold that to Tyler for about 500 bucks, and uh, that was another one of those things that I said, hey, um, he's going to put it in a collection case, and he's going to take really good care of it, and that is great, and that is good for it. So I said, why not just give it to somebody that cares about it? And really is going to enjoy it. So I'm going to hopefully let you guys hear what this is going to do. This is the actual Pokedex guys. And I have a couple of loose figures that I'm also, these are all freebies. These here are all freebies that I'm selling. I'm not selling these to Tyler. I'm giving them for free because I just think he'll be able to put them to much better use than I will. So, but just to give everybody an idea, let's put our Charizard on here and uh, we'll um, hopefully let you guys see everything and let's turn the sucker on. Like I said, I hope you can hear it all, everybody. Let's see what it says. Because I never played this against friends, so it has no match totals or anything else. That's yeah, how much damage it can take. Yeah, and that's the sound it would make, and it's right out of the anime, folks. Um, now, let's see, guys. If I remember correctly, that's just general data, and if you guys see here... This is the standard Pokedex thing. This is really old, so this is before they added a lot of the new types, guys, and everything, and started changing them up, but it would show you what stuff was weak against. And what you could do is you could hold this. Pokemon there you go. One. Two, Wrong one. Two, 
And we're going to let it run, guys, without hitting anything. Every time it asks you one type against another, you can choose either weak against, equal to, or strong against. And depending on how you do, so that would be equal. Weak against. No. Yes, yeah, strong. Yeah, equal. Yeah. And you can shut that off. There you go. And if we wanted to, guys, we could switch out. Because I'm sure this... I have one of those guys, as you saw, and it doesn't come with the figures, so I must have had a couple figures that I did get. and Or I might have received it from somebody. I don't know, but most likely I bought it. See, guys, if you look, what it's telling us is who's that Pokemon. tells us that it's Golem and it's Rock-type. Then when we hit it, this other one, it tells us the battle stat. Hit win total is zero. Yep. Golem hit point total is one, two, five. Yep. Now, if you do this, it's going to attack, meaning it's just going to do a, it's going to do a sound effect. <laughs> And there you go, guys. And that's the bare bone basics of what this little Ashes Talking Pokedex does. If you had these little figures, much like the Totodial in the back too, guys, we actually do have a Charizard here, guys, that we'll show off here in a second. Um, he's still in the package. I don't know why I happen to have one where the top is cut off, but I gave Tyler a good deal on that because it's missing the rest of the Think Chip stuff. Now I'm going to leave this the way it is, guys, and I'm going to give that to my friend Tyler so he can actually enjoy the fact that it's got sound effects and everything like that. And we're going to skip over, guys, here and look at exactly what this stuff is. Now, it looks like what happened was, is if I had to take a guess, guys, down the road, they came out with the Johto League Championship stuff of this, and we had stuff like Totodile and so on and so forth. Um, and now I'm going to let you guys see what it is. Uh, Finger contains real computer chip. Yeah, we've, we've realized that. And, oh, guys, look at this. You can see how old this is. Look at that. Good old Kids WB back when it was on. That was back when F Pokemon was on national television, folks, and you can get it on the airwaves. Boy, that's a, that's a long time ago. So there's some more stuff, guys, used with the computerized battle stadium. and think So you could do more with this. Uh, Tyler was looking for the battle stadium. I do not have one of those guys, at least not to my knowledge. I never really got into this. I got this because it was cheap. I can almost guarantee that's why I have this stuff is because it's cheap. Now, if you look at the card, guys, here, it'll tell you special attack. Use against Pokemon, you have the advantage over water type, have the advantage over fire, ground, and rock type Pokemon. And it tells you what the hit points are, and it tells you um, fill in to track your Pokemon's hit points. I'm assuming that maybe you can train your Pokemon so that it can go from this hit point 65 to that hit point 105. Um, it even tells you on the thing, guys, what type you, a Pokemon you have, that it's a water type. And it does say bite attack, special attack. Now, I'm sure, sorry about that, guys. I didn't have that in frame. I'm sure that's particular if we were going to, like, really, um you know, go full bore into this. But I mean, I got it, as you can tell guys for a collectible and that's what the little total dial figure looks like. Now I swear I have one loose, but I haven't been able to find it until, until then. Um, you know, this is what I have and this is what I'm giving away. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but the, the really small text here does say 1995 and so on and so forth. So it's possible that these were put out from 95 through 2000 maybe it had a really long i'd have to look it up on the online guys if i really really wanted to find out now for the charizard guys special attack i'm sure there's a difference between because it makes sense um but it could just mean that 
these are what its special attack is. Maybe it's maybe they do regular damage, but there's like some kind of ultimate attack type thing you can do if you hit a certain button. Once again, I don't have the stadium, so I don't know. But I mean, the thing is, is that the Pokedex is really just an added little thing that can help you. Pardon me, guys. Sorry, I was listening to something in the background. My cat's been sick again lately, and we've determined that I'm, I'm pretty positive it's her, her water, and so we've taken care of that. But she might still be reeling from it, so I'm I'm keeping my eyes on if she's throwing up or not. So this thing's hit starts at 125, and then it can go as high as 165. Once I get my finger out of the way, you guys can tell that better. And it's special attack is rage attack. Now, I don't think it means so much that... When it's a special attack, I don't think it means so much that, you know, that's what it is, that it's, um, because most Pokemon moves are listed as a physical attack or a special attack. I think what they mean in this case is just that it's extra attack, that it's special attack, it's unique attack is so on and so forth. And I think that's what it means, guys. Though, once again, I don't know because I never really got into this stuff, guys. It does say stage two is the uh, Charmander, of course, guys. So this is the last evolutionary stage. Uh, and as always, fire type. So, which means the Totodile will be good against the Charizard, uh, though I'm sure he would have a higher hit point count, of course. And of course, they show you the back, guys, or I'm going to show you the back. Um, yep, they work with the stadium, uh, computerized battle stadium, battle those think chip figures on the computerized battle stadium, increase their hit points. There you go, guys. That's how you would increase their hit points. Now, I don't think we're going to see that on the back of the other one, guys, but this one barely where we can see it, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. I don't know. Collect evolutions for more power. I don't know if you... If you, while you're fighting, if you go from the lower evolution to the higher evolution, it gives you more, like, power or something. But who knows? I mean, it could just be... I don't, like I said, know thoroughly how this works, but it's uh, it was a good concept for back in the day. Nowadays, it would be all digital, I'm sure. So, um, yeah, product colors may vary. Just to show everybody once again, that's what the Think Chip Stadium looks like, guys. And then uh, there, was a, there was an interactive Ash... I remember that you could put the Pokemon on there and he would say something. So instead of having like the Pokeball, you could actually put the Pokemon in his hand. And of course, it's ironic because only Pikachu and a few actual Pokemon are that size. But I'm sure you can see by the hand, guys, that he has that same thing that's on the Pokedex over here that you could probably put the figure back on. At least that's what it looks like. So it says Ash talks to you and interacts with any Think Chip Pokemon figure that he holds. Of course, there you go. So, um,. That's what the basics are behind this, guys. From what we can see on this one, this was probably be like a Generation 1 thing, whereby this was probably one of the later generations, but I don't actually know that for certain because this also has all the uh, figures, guys. This shows you the whole enchilada. So let's see. These advanced Think Chip figures work with the entire Think Chip system. Each figure is programmed to know its name, type, and evolution. Well, there you go. Um... It was just a neat little electronic idea for the time, guys. That's really what it was. Hey, you know what I find funny, guys? We got War Turtle here and Blastoise, but no Squirtle. And uh, there's Pikachu and Raichu, of course. And uh, there's all the other ones. And my cat's being a pest. Stay off my Rubbermaid containers, cat. Such a nuisance. So if she's in better spirits, then maybe she's not so sick anymore. Uh, and then Graveler, and then of course the Golem I have, guys. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur. Uh, no Venusaur. Once again, a little odd that we didn't... Maybe they did come out with one, and it just wasn't on this package, guys. And then we go to Totodile. So, so the Totodile had no other evolutions. And I would imagine that the Think Chip thing did not last for too long, guys, if I had to take a guess. Um, so the thing is, is that most likely they did not come out with a huge line of Pokemon. But there's a good chance that the, what's on the back of the package is not strictly what they came out with. It, they might have come out with more. So, um, But that's our individual figures, guys. Our Totodile and our Charmander. And it's so, it's fun, so funny, guys. You can see that we have a... We can see right here where we have a Charmander out of the box and one in the box. So Tyler's going to get to enjoy those in the box. Unfortunately, the top of that's been ripped off. So um, I, because I, it's possible I found it in a Martins or somewhere where people just didn't take good care of stuff, guys. I would imagine the fact that it took off everything but the figure 
means that there was something about the top section, and I don't think it was the Pokemon stuff on the back. I think it was the fact that it said um, Think Chip and stuff like that. I'm sure there was a reason, but <laughs> it's lost to the annals of time, guys. Um, we won't know. So we'll take these two figures down, guys, and we're going to put those off to the side. And now we're going to look at the Pokedex itself, guys. Whoops. Well, la-dee-da. That's all it took, guys. I managed to knock over... Well, the admittedly, the... Um, the thing that was tipped over was empty on the inside. But it's amazing that it managed to tip over so easily. Get over there. You pain in the butt. Well, that's fine. We didn't really we didn't really damage anything and nothing's really a problem. It's just a matter of just annoyance. So now I can't get this thing to stand up, guys, too well, but I'm gonna try. So there it is, guys. Place your Pokemon here to increase hit points. Well, I would imagine that had to do with the weak against and strong against and all that stuff that it does that. But maybe, maybe not. I couldn't actually say for certain. Access battle stats, test your Pokemon knowledge. So if you had a certain, if you had a bunch of these guys and you wanted to know which one had the best battle stats, you would probably put it on here and it would tell you certain things. But mostly it was just what a standard Pokedex was for the time. You could tell this is based more on the one that Ash had in the very first season. Um it was basically just to tell you this Pokemon is, I mean, it's so bare bone basics that nowadays most people like myself would look at this and go, Pff. especially because it's really outdated. So, but the thing is, is that for the time and even nowadays, if somebody wanted to get one of these, maybe found it somewhere uh, off the wall, maybe just um, found it at a Ollie's or Martin's or a yard sale or something like that, where you would want to, if you had the right stuff, you could possibly enjoy it. You can probably uh, get these figures online loose if you looked for them, if you ever got an actual Pokedex. So you could probably still enjoy some of the stuff, guys. But ultimately, um, this was a product of its time. In my opinion, this is a product of its time. And like I said, guys, this is almost a cross between vintage time and a nerd showcase because really i'm just showing this off guys because frankly um this will be the last time we see this it will not be part of my collection i am going to be selling the loose one and the box one along with all the other stuff um now the the loose stuff is going to be all free i don't think i'm going to get any enjoyment out of those loose things i don't think as a collectible or anything else putting them up isn't really going to um do anything if i put them up on my uh, bookcase or my wall or my cube organizer it's it's just gonna sit there and it might do the same at tyler's place but at least the thing is is that i know that um the display ones guys that are still in boxes he's probably gonna put behind a case and they're just gonna sit there but he'll get some enjoyment looking at them and so will all the people that come by now when it comes to the loose ones here he might be able to actually get some practical enjoyment out of that and possibly as his as his daughter gets older she might too and actually get to enjoy the pokemon stuff much like tyler does and myself and a lot of other people i know and there you go guys just to see the top part of the box now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the old bugger around hey i was right there was some more pokemon guys jigglypuff wigglytuff so those are the only two we can confirm that weren't on the back of the other ones but there were other pokemon that were in the set so now we'll take a look see at that guys access to the full power of your think chip figures using ash's talking pokedex with think chip technology because they figure the more often they say think chip the more often it'll be distinctive and you'll want to buy it now one of the things you guys can notice and i want you to notice too guys is that remember some of the cards we looked at well there you go guys that's what you can do with the cards is you can take the cards and you can slide them into that little spot that we looked at that had the chart showing what Pokemon were weak and strong against. You can actually slap that in there so that you can just kind of have the card there. I don't think it'll actually do anything, but you can still have the enjoyment of, hey, you put the card there, you put the Pokemon up here, and it just is a, it's a novelty. So let's see, guys. Electronic Ashes Talking Pokedex. Here, each figure's name, type, and battle stats. Train your figures by answering questions about your Pokemon type. See, told you. And then increase hit points. And there you go, guys. Um, So I don't know what kind of training it would do. I don't know anything, guys, about the, the little novelties of these. But they're basically just hard plastic 
out there in the world versions of what you can get with Tamagotchis where you raise them and you have them battle against each other and they get stronger and they get like different moves and they get all these fun things, guys. And this is just a, and that's what they are, guys. They're hard plastic. They're, 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 because of their bottoms and everything here, guys, that connect the thing, there's a, a little chip inside and there, as you can see that they're mostly hollow because there's screws in there holding all the electronic stuff in there. But for the most part, it's a hard plastic little sucker, guys. So, and of course, guys, here we go, guys. The ultimate battle playset. Become a Pokemon master by having real interactive Pokemon battles. Choose different attacks. Gain hit points by winning battles. Now down here, guys, if we take a quick look at this thing, this thing had these different things here, which means I would imagine that's how you chose what Pokemon attacks. So remember where it said special attack? I'm guessing that each Pokemon had two basic attacks and then had one attack that was very unique and particular to it. And that was what you could use as kind of a trump card. Now, in this case, guys, Pikachu would definitely be you know, you know, strong against a water type like Blastoise, but Blastoise would have a higher hit point total. So it would take Pikachu probably a little bit longer to take it out. So each thing had its own little thing, guys. And of course it says right there, figures remember their names and battle stats. Different types give you the advantage. Of course, any Pokemon person would know that, guys. Any Pokemon trainer. And there you go, guys. And we already looked at the fact that this thing is older than dirt. It came from back when we were really just worried about Y2K and everything because it was around the 2000s, guys. So this thing is probably anywhere from 20 to 25 years old, easy. So the thing is, is that this sucker is old, so it is part of the vintage toy line, guys. Uh, but however, I am definitely going to sell it off, guys. And it wasn't really the money. The money was just something of getting some compensation, which makes it easier to give up something, guys, that you really like. I'm going to shut the light off, guys, as we finish up here. There we go. So, because I really like this, guys, and the thing is, is that it would have been hard for me to give it up because I am a big Pokemon collector, though I've been negligent on the games over the last couple of years, but um, some of the stuff that I get into is um, you know, some of the Funko Pops and uh, some of the more novelty items. So, the thing is, is that I still get into some of it, but just not as much as I used to. And so... Seeing how this stuff is not going to do me much good except be an investment, uh, the fact that I'm going to get some money for it says that it really was what I said it was. It was an investment. And the thing is, is that now I'm going to get something back for it and it will be that much easier to say goodbye to it. And the thing is, like I said, it also makes me happy that it's going to a friend that's going to be able to get some enjoyment out of it and going to be able to showcase it. And the thing is, is that someday if he needs to, he'll put it out there, guys, and make money on it, too. And then that way I can know that he's going to have something that will invest in the future for his daughter, because if something ever happens to him, Lord forbid, um, then you know what? His wife could sell a lot of his stuff off and be able to probably survive for a good long while if she knew the right people. So that's just really out there. But it's a possibility and having stuff like this means that you have an investment. In my case, guys, I'm going to take the uh, 100 and something bucks that I'm going to get and I'm actually going to put it towards Christmas gifts. So and that's for other people. So everybody wins in this all around and it's an awesome thing, guys. And I've got a lot of other things that I could do um, some nerd showcases on, but they're not that big of a deal. And I did find some other stuff that I'm going to give away to my friend. But the thing is, is that it's one of those things where it's like, I had forgotten about it until now. So in so many years, I'll forget about it too. Let's just say, guys, my priorities are a bit different. Nowadays, they're much, much different than they were back when these were out. That's for darn sure. But there we go, guys. There is our Think Chip Pokedex. In case none of you have ever seen one of those, there you go, guys. Now you've seen one. Now you've hopefully heard it when we were doing that. And now you guys can see it just like me. I'm hoping to have always have a record of this. And I can say some time back when I'm really old and forget for, uh, I can look and say, this is something I had. And, uh, and the thing is, is that I will also remember what I 
why I gave it away. So there we go, guys. I am going to now check on messages because I think Mr. Tyler might have hit us up during our little broadcast here. Um, we should be seeing him anytime. I have a slew of goodies for him, but this is just one more thing, guys, that he's going to get to take full enjoyment of. I don't know what he's going to do with these, but the thing is, he's already shown me some of the places he's been putting stuff like this, so I know it's going to go to a good home and it will be just fantastic to know that uh somebody that i consider a friend is going to also get enjoyment out of this guys and i got uh exactly the purpose behind grabbing it i got some enjoyment out of it during the time when it was relevant and then um now i get to pass it along and make a little money on it so all in all guys i can definitely tell you with a surety folks that i'm making more money on this this thing right here than i bought it for darn right so in the meantime guys i hope that you appreciate this look at the poke the thick chip ashes talking pokedex along with some of the um unique figures that come with it and the thing is guys uh if you like stuff like this i'd always prefer a thumbs up and uh anything in the comment section telling me what you guys uh like about the videos and what you don't is always appreciated and as i've started been saying a lot more often guys as the world is in turmoil and then thinking about some of the stuff that the Lord blessed me with good money back during the time period I bought these and how the Lord's blessed me with good money nowadays and how I've got the good friends that I need to help me take the stuff off my hands. And I'm just blessed in so many ways, guys. I would hope that you today might think about, you know, tomorrow, Sunday, maybe going to a church, maybe cracking open a Bible, maybe just looking at something on a Bible track and just consider, just consider that the Lord might have a good plan for you guys out there, just like he did for me when I was able to buy this stuff. And the thing is, is that, uh, with the, like I said, with the turmoil in the world nowadays, guys, I believe that we should all be looking to a higher power, but to each their own. That's the way I believe in. Um, and uh, I just feel that the need to reach out to people a lot more now, especially on this channel, guys, because uh, I don't if you guys feel offended or, you know, whatever the case is, you know, I'll take flack in the comment section if need be. I'll also, you know, if we lose subscribers, we lose subscribers. But the thing is, guys, is that I care about each of you guys as people, maybe not as an individual person, because I don't really know you guys. But the thing is, is I care about you guys as individual people, not just as a a group of individuals walking around society some of you coming from canada and i see all my analytics guys people from across the ocean and belgium and all kinds of other places and the thing is is that i care about all you guys knowing that in the in the end days that i believe highly that we're in the thing is, is that uh, i would hope to be able to meet each of you on the other side let's just put it that way but like i said it's just a thought. It's just a suggestion. And I just wanted you guys to know I care about you enough to at least give you an idea of something you might want to consider, guys, because the Lord has helped me out so much. I would be remin I would be very I it's hard for me to do face to face with people that I, I actually know in in front of me in this life. But I've never met any of you and you know, most of you I've never met. There is a few of you out that are subscribers that do know me that every once in a while might get on and see what I put up. But the thing is, is for the most part, most of you out there don't know me. And the thing is, is that, um, for you guys, um, well, you know, I just want you to know that, um, Somebody cares about you out there. I care about you. And most importantly, the Lord cares about you. And the thing is, if things get rough guys, you know, that's just somebody you can turn to. And hey, if you feel up to it and you feel confident, you can always go in the comment section and ask me to pray about something for you guys because I'm always for it. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful Saturday evening. I hope that you're feeling blessed. I'm going to go back to watching Sonic the Hedgehog on Pluto TV. And I am going to just kind of sit back and wait for my good buddy Tyler to ding me up, guys, so I can give him all kinds of good stuff tonight. And that's going to make me really, really happy and put a good smile on my face as a Saturday night comes to a close. In the meantime, guys, I hope you're having a as much enjoyment in your night and i hope we'll see you on the next one peace